Hey, watch where you're going, punk. Oh, well, if it isn't Miss Popular. You seem to be in a hurry. That pretty mouth of yours needs to close. I do not like the sass coming out of it. Do you have any idea who the hell you're talking to? Well, though we've never officially met, I think both of our reputations precede us. Allow me to introduce myself. I am your worst fucking nightmare. And I don't care how popular or how pretty you are. When you see me, you will show a little bit of respect. Or we are going to have a problem. Do we have an understanding? I've been meaning to meet you for a while now, but it's so difficult with all those fake-ass friends you surround yourself with. Well, I got news for you, honey. I'm as real as it gets, and I'm going to be needing some favors from now on. Oh man, I'm just so fucking excited to play with you. Who would have thought that today would be the day that you wander to my side of the school and all alone as well? Tell me, you weren't up to anything, were you? Maybe sneaking out to meet that little boy toy of yours. What was his name again? Ah, yes. Him. He's not a bad looking guy, I can't blame you, but he's nowhere near as good looking as me. But maybe you see something that I don't. No, 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 no. You're not going anywhere until we're done talking. He can wait. Stop, no, stop looking at the exit. Look at me. Now listen to me. I don't really give a shit what you do in your spare time. I've been hearing word that you've been sleeping with a lot of guys around here. Sometimes at the same time. And you know what? That is entirely your business. Thing is though, a lot of these guys owe me money. And it'd be so much easier to get my money back if I knew where they lived. So all I'm asking is that the next time you go out to have a little fun with a guy, just send me the address right after. Is that going to be a problem? Which ones? <sighs> Maybe you're not hearing me correctly. All of them. Any and every single one of them. And I won't lie to you. I'm going to do some bad things to them if they don't pay me. So I recommend the next time you go out and have a little fun, you give them a real good time because they won't be feeling anything like that for a while. You do this for me and you and I are going to get along very well. So how about it, sweetie? You're gonna do right by me. Say it out loud that you do. Come on, let me hear it. Hmm.
good. Now listen, babe. One more thing. Just because we've already started to get along so well. If you want a real good time, you should hit me up. Compared to these fruit cakes that you've been screwing, I'm the real deal. Well, let's see. I'm taller, I'm stronger, rougher, and I'm bigger. A lot bigger. So how about a free trial? I mean, look at you. You can't even move either of your hands. And I'm just using one hand. I shake down guys a lot bigger and a lot tougher than you. So I would not test me. Anyways, you get the idea. Right. Give me your arm. I said give me your arm. Just so that you don't forget what number to send the addresses to. But feel free to hit me up for other things as well with this phone number. I better see those texts sometime this week. Or I might just carve it in next time. So you don't forget. Try not to be late. I wouldn't want to desecrate such smooth, beautiful skin. But I'll find out other ways, I'm sure. Now, I assume you aren't as stupid as you are gorgeous, but just to be sure, what do you think is going to happen if you don't follow through with the agreement? I'll give you a hint. It is not going to be fun for you. Maybe for me, but definitely not for you. Hmm. I'm not really convinced that you're scared of me. Am I being too nice? Or do you think you're just untouchable? You think just because you got a few thousand followers on Instagram and quite a few guys panting on you that you're untouchable? No one is untouchable. Absolutely no one. And I would really prefer that you don't have to learn the hard way. But if you want to try and see what happens, well, that's up to you. Give me another sassy look like that, and I will show you what the wall tastes like. I'm starting to think that you like this kind of treatment. I'll keep that in mind the next time I see you. Maybe I pick on you in front of your friends. Would you like that? You and I both know that reputation takes a lifetime to build and only seconds to destroy. I can completely ruin you. Though you know the difference between you and me? You can only ruin people's reputations. But I choose not to partake in all of that cyber bullying bullshit. It is so fucking lame. People like you hide behind a screen. When you want to pick on a person, you have to hide behind their back. When people meet me, they hide in real life because they know that I can seriously hurt them. And I will hurt them. So, you tell anybody 
or any of your phony ass friends about this little meeting that we had today, and you're dead. No screens are going to save you. And not even they'll save you, because they're all pussies. Every single one of them. Anyways, I'm tired of lecturing to your stupid, pretty little face. Why don't you get out here to your boy toy and tell him I said hello. And if he knows what's good for him, he'll call the number on your arm and pay me what he owes. Now get the hell out of here. Your, your books? What about your books? Those aren't your books anymore. They belong to the floor. And the floor belongs to me. No, 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 no. I think I'll hold on to them. And maybe, just maybe, if you ask me really nicely, I'll allow you to come over tomorrow and pick them up. What? Do I look like I'm fucking joking? <laughs> Goodbye.